Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. In the bullpen today, I have Josh Bernstein. Josh Bernstein is host of the Josh Bernstein Uncensored Show, an American conservative talk show that airs daily. He's also known for his prior show on YouTube called The Josh Bernstein Show. Josh, welcome to Indisputable. Great to be on the program with you. Let me start by asking you about your views on Black Lives Matter. You have called Black Lives Matter a terrorist organization. Do you stand by that? I certainly do. We have to look at the founding of Black Lives Matter. It was founded by Asians for Black Lives, which was run by a communist by the name of Pam Tao Lee. We also have to look at the fact of Alex Tom, which was part of the CPA, not a certified public accountant, folks, the Chinese Progressive Association. These were folks that were in contact with Alicia Garza and Patrice Cullors. As a matter of fact, Alicia Garza and Alex Tom were activists together at UC San Diego, which is where they met. And they kind of worked with Liberation Front, Net Roots, and a bunch of other organizations to start the riots in Ferguson. So if we're looking at where they come from, as well as their own words, as Patrice Cullors has said herself, that we are indeed trained Marxists. Well, if we have Marxism and communism in the United States of America, I would consider that to be um, adversarial to the US Constitution. So yes, well, I would that's agree interesting. With that. that is really interesting because what you just described was not terrorism. Do you know the definition of terrorism, Josh? Sure, yeah. What terrorism is, is somebody that incites violence, mayhem, murder for political reasons and gain. So let me ask you this question, and that's very close to the definition. Are members of the KKK terrorists? I would say so, absolutely. Yeah. They were founded yeah. by the Democrats, let's not forget that either. Oh, well, they were founded by Dixiecrats, and those Dixiecrats are Republicans today. And I guarantee you, if you took a poll, 100% of the KKK uh, Ku Klux Klan members would be Republicans and Trump supporters. So let's be very clear about who they are today, right? Today, okay, they so are the all history doesn't matter, right? Uh, and I don't the give a damn about this. I'm a black man. The fact first. that the Republican let me, let me Party was brother. founded on let me the say this to you, Josh. platform. Josh, let me be matter. very clear, brother. Let me be very clear with you. I don't play them games. Racist I don't either. Democrats exist. Listen to me, brother. Racist Democrats exist today. They existed then. Okay. Racist Republicans there exist are today. In they existed every then. Single walk but of there, life. there is no coincidence that the KKK. Endorsed your guy for president. You don't have a problem well, with first that. First of all, if you're talking about David Duke, uh, David Duke. Oh, I'm is not just talking about David, David Duke. Duke. I'm not just talking about David and Duke. And Trump obviously uh, did not accept his endorsement. But you don't find it problematic that groups that you would call terrorist organizations like the KKK, who have engaged in murder and mayhem, who are listed uh, as a murderous group, and even you yourself say should be denounced. You don't find it problematic that they are endorsing the people that you support? Well, how many times have we had Biden be endorsed by the Communist Party USA? How many others? Barack Obama, how many times has he been endorsed by communists and You want to compare the Communist Party? Think about what you're saying. The Communist Party. We can't control who endorses who. The Communist Party represents, the Communist Party represents an adversarial political ideology to that of capitalism. I understand that. But to okay. somehow compare the Communist Party or communism as a political social economic ideology to that of murdering ass KKK members makes absolutely no sense. How None. do you separate the two? If they both believe in Karl Marx and they both believe in communism, which is complete control and totalitarianism for that matter, how do you how do you separate the two? You can't. Well, in your That's mind, I know in your I know in yes, your sir. mind. Somehow individuals that um, subscribe to uh, communism or those that hold the ideology of communism um, up high that they are the same as a KKK member. It doesn't make sense to most people, but I know it makes sense to you. I learned before the show, I only have a few minutes with you because you have a hard out at a certain time. So let I me, I let, me bring you, let me bring you to this, to this point. 
Um, police reform. Police, police reform. reform. Okay. Uh, are you for police reform? Depends on what that police reform is. If you're we'll talking about defunding the police, in which New York cut 45, uh, they, they, they cut 12 million, uh, not sorry, I'm sorry, 45,000 fewer arrests in New York, which was a 58% homicide increase. Chicago uh, is 31,000 less arrests, and they have yeah. a 65%. So, yes, if you're going to cut the police, like Ted Wheeler did, for instance, in Portland, Oregon, which by the way was ablaze 150 nights in a row or whatever it was, you're going to see a rise in violent crime and homicide. Clearly every single city that is run by liberal Democrats has the higher crime rates and they have the higher murder rates and it all coincides with cutting the police no, it doesn't. Uh, uh, that's so a lie. That's not true at it's all. It's not so a lie. You, it's actually let me give you some true. Stats. FBI Brother, you told us you only have a few minutes. So let me go ahead and give you. Yourself. Let me go ahead and give you the the other stats. Obviously, that you are, are you not familiar go with. Scholars.org. Is that where we're going here? No, sir. I'm going to go okay, to Marilyn good. Mosby. Marilyn good. Mosby, um, who decided oh, oh, to. Oh, a good one from Baltimore. It's a it's a great one, brother. And I encourage you to do some research and educate yourself. Marilyn Mosby during COVID-19 decided to not prosecute crimes of survival anymore or petty crimes. She was told by every member of law enforcement and every executive in law enforcement that crime would increase in it her did. jurisdiction. It did not, sir. That's a it damn lie. It actually increased 55%. Sir, sir, it actually and went down 39%. You sir, are correct. Sir, I'm going to give you the real facts. In her jurisdiction, and you can find this through two university studies, as well as an article that was that was printed based on those studies of crime stats in Baltimore. Not only did she decrease crime, violent crime went down by double digits in her jurisdiction. Also arrests went down and they were able to connect individuals who needed social rehabilitation, such as those that were dealing with alcohol addiction, drug addiction or mental health disorders. They were able to connect them to help and it decreased everything around them. And now that jurisdiction has engaged in that practice full time. She is now being praised by members of law enforcement. Let me take you to Ithaca, New York. Ithaca, New York, they, they did a survey. In this survey, Josh, it came out to the conclusion that 51% of 911 calls did not even require a cop. It required a social worker. So oh, it was a social New worker. Council. Please Hold on, put brother. that gun no, and no, knife on, down. Brother. We don't want you to stab Josh, that person. Or we'll Josh, be very mad at you. Josh, give me a break. Here's what Give me I'm a break. Josh. The police Josh. are vilified Josh. in America cut in my, urban cesspool cities. Brother, your privilege and therefore, don't work what on happens? this show. Crime increases, you, correct? Okay. And by the way, your your uh, your your privilege don't work here. You're yapping, you're, you're bumping your gums. Nobody can hear you. Your privilege don't work here, brother. So let me be very clear. Ithaca, New York, said, "Here's what we're going to do. We're going to hire individuals who actually are trained as social workers, since that's what our community says they need." Ithaca, New York, has engaged in reimagined policing. Here's something else that has happened. In Chicago, you have more cops than ever before. They continue to hire more cops. These cops have not been able to arrest themselves out of socioeconomic dysfunction. Those cops are not creating more arrests and they're only solving 2% of the crimes. That's a study that just got released. So I encourage you to look up those stats when you get a moment. Here's how you actually combat crime. If your city or county says that they are hiring more cops, your city and county, they have failed you because all they're saying is they have no idea how to deal with the underlying issues of criminality in your county, in your city. How do you tackle that? You tackle that by looking at what causes the crime, crimes of survival, poverty, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, whatever it may be. Now, if you're not facing that problem, you're going to continue to hire more cops and not actually get the crime issue under control. All right, you have fun, you can unmute yourself now. Josh, go ahead, unmute yourself. I can't hear you, Josh. You can unmute yourself. You know how to hit the mute button? You know how to unmute yourself, just hit the same button. He can't figure it out. All right, we'll give him some time. Can you figure it out, Josh? Okay, there you go, you there? Yeah. So I'm Josh, not sure what thing. happened, I apologize here's, for that. Here's the thing, Josh, Josh, listen to me, man, seriously. If I was on your show, 
I would not over talk you. I understand that if I'm on your your show, you are part debater, part you moderator. You can come on my show anytime. You have, you I don't have a, I don't I don't give a damn about your show, and I don't want to come on your show. What okay, you have well. said about black people and Black Lives Matter being a terrorist organization when they are the reason why cops have been put on notice. They are the reason why there is a semblance of justice. I am not a in the criminal racist, justice system. Okay? Oh, come on, man, really? I'm not. I'm really? an ideologue. There's a huge difference, <laughs> uh-huh. buddy. A huge uh-huh. difference. What? How you envision uh-huh. the world are with you, you in it, and what you see in your you world is very different than saying that someone, because they're black or white or Hispanic or green or purple or glow in the yeah. dark, is an issue. I yeah. am not racist. Okay, I'm an brother, ideologue. You said you're not you racist. Should. That's fine. That's what you say on the record. That's fine. Do you believe? Are you a Christian individual? I am not. I'm 100% Jewish, and I'm okay. a huge supporter of Christianity and okay. Christians because I understand that if the you know what hit the hit the fan in America, okay. it wouldn't be the liberal Jews that would be protecting this country. It would be the evangelical Christians and the Christian right. You mean the evangelical Christians? The evangelical are, Christians that support Israel, okay. of course, and uh, so and make I sure that uh, our allies are safe. I can go to a thousand directions with that, but you don't we have any issues with We are a Judeo-Christian nation, oh, minute, whether you like no, it or not, buddy. We're not That's a Judeo-Christian we nation. Where is that in the Constitution? Where? Are we not a Judeo-Christian Where nation? Where is that in the Constitution? That's whether the founding it's in the document. Constitution Where? or not, that's our founding principles and values. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. The founding fathers, many of them were deists, brother. Okay, you let me ask you this. History? Is the you Constitution a living, breathing document? Yes, that of course be it is. changed over time? Of course it is. No, it's it should amendments. not be. Well, well, it why is do we have amendments? law. Why do we have amendments? See, that's just the way the left looks at things. Why do we have Everything amendments? Relative, cultural relativism, how oh, wonderful. Oh, gosh, man. You, you so, so You're not going to get there, buddy. Yeah. Trust me. Do you know why the Constitution has amendments or not? Do you know? Do you know at all? Professor. Am I the professor know-it-all? No, I'm not. But you just just said the Constitution is not a living document. The Constitution said I was three-fifths of a man. You believe that? Yes, Democrats told you that. You believe that? You believe I'm three-fifths of a man? Democrats also passed Jim Crow laws. This is a real simple question. And don't forget, blacks would never even had the right to vote if it wasn't for the civil rights act. Fist of a Irish man. As you the can't Democrats even answer. That's how racist you are, brother. You can't even answer a simple ass question. Do I you can't believe answer question. I'm three fifths of a man according to the Constitution? Of course, you're not three fifths of a man. And on that, brother, I'll let you go. Of course, I appreciate you're not. You being on the board. You're a human Thank being. You, I appreciate and you Thank know what? You so much. The folks Thank you so that cross race the man, most are the ones on the left. Silly. Silly. There's nothing silly about it. Listen, I want to bring you back on the show, but you told us. You told me. us, you told us you had a hard out. Can I continue to debate you or you gotta go? We let me see. Um Damn that next interview, man. Let's keep this going. We should have had more time. I agree. Um I could probably do another five minutes. All right, let's do the, that. Let, the let, me, let me bring up some, some additional stats to you about police reform. 90, 96% of Americans believe police reform needs to happen. 58%. They believe it needs to be dramatic. 51% of Republicans believe police reform needs to happen ASAP. One of the realities of police reform is qualified immunity. It needs to go. Do you understand qualified immunity? And what's your stance on qualified immunity? My stance on police reform in general is the fact that we need more police officers on the beat, on the street. You don't know what qualified immunity is. Not less, okay? So okay, so that's you your answer to a question. Qualified immunity or yeah. any other thing. Uh-huh. The bottom line is, should we have people, uh, you know, be victims of police brutality? Of course not. I don't see that at all. But you know, it's just amazing that we have Ashley Babbitt, who was murdered six months ago, and yet we still don't have the name of the person. But let yet, bring, every single time somebody who is yeah, white that kills uh, an, a black individual. Well, we know we the know, name of that police officer we know that, that day. We know that terrorists. Isn't that decided, terrible? We know that terrorists decided. The police are not the terrorists. The police are commit. not the problem. Hold are there brother, bad apples in every bunch? Of yeah, course great. there are. We know that terrorists, are. they decided to but you can't uh, go on the Capitol the property and commit acts of crime. Now, Professor, let me bring it to Chicago. The police. Let me bring it to Chicago because you said something that I yes, want I did. to analyze. Go ahead, because I have Chicago's uh, information as well. Chicago, they have engaged in more cops, more arrest, 
more fighting crime. But here's what has happened. They solved 2% of the crimes in Chicago. They have had an over bloviated police budget. The money in Chicago has not equated to a decrease in the social economic patterns that lead to the crime. <laughs> So well, who hires Chicago? More, That's why up. they call it, call it See, you, County. You just want to go back to politics of it. Explain to me why hiring more cops does not get the outcome you said it should get. Tell me. Chicago made 31,000 fewer arrests, but saw a homicide rate increase by 65%. Those are crime bureau statistics mm. from the FBI. Uh, now, go, unless go you back, don't believe the FBI, step. I don't oh, know go what back. to tell you. Wait a minute, go back to that stat, brother, because I know let's the Let's talk about Crook County, yeah, Illinois. Let, let's talk about the stat you just brought up. Okay. That that yeah. decrease in arrest happened when they hired more police officers who decided not to do their damn job out of protest to the local politicians. So you literally had more cops on the beat than ever before. You had more money in their budget than ever before, but you had cops calling in with the blue flu, not doing their damn job that they were sworn to do. So you had less arrest in that city and you don't hold those cops accountable for that. I'm telling you right now, this was the crime bureau statistics. From the Come FBI. on, man, I just gave you the context okay. for those stats. From the I know those stats. Bureau of you intimidation. had more cops like, than oh. ever before, and they could not arrest themselves nor police themselves out of the dysfunction of criminality in Chicago. More cops does not equate to less crime. Do you get my so, point? So, okay, let's throw it back the to you then. How you would you solve police reform in the United States of America without defunding the people that are protecting our neighborhoods? Go ahead. And I'm glad you posed that question, brother. So number Wait, one, hang on. What? Give me. Okay, number hey, one. Can you call me back in five minutes? Yeah, I you call him back. Yeah, five he's minutes. busy. To get, yeah, let's let's get this. Sorry, this is too All good. Right. All right, you're absolutely correct. So I'm glad you posed that question. Here's what has to happen. Number one, you have to take defunding the police seriously as a reimagined tool for policing. Here's what's not working. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, brother. Listen. You asked me a question. I'm, I'm going to take two percent of major crimes get solved within the first two years of any police precinct. That's just a national average, okay, 2%. Now, name any government body that had that type of performance stat that we wouldn't question. Why would we not question the effectiveness of a 2% solve rate for major crimes? We should question that. So let's we go should question to that. Let's why do you think why. that is no, the no, case? No, no, you pose the question to me and I'm I gonna am. answer it. And I'll answer it or we you go can back answer it. We can to the majority of arrests. The majority why? of arrests, the majority of arrests that happen in any jurisdiction is connected to poverty, mental health, alcohol use or addiction, or drug use or addiction. If you're not actually trying to remedy those underlying issues in your local community. You are going to continue to permeate the same ecosystem, the same cycle of crime. That's why defund the police is really about taking another look at how we do policing. And if your city has 30% to 50% of the calls, your 911 calls are not 911 or police officer required. Why do we send the cop? To every single 911 call when the police officers are saying, we aren't trained to do this. We need more training or we need qualified individuals to deal with folks that have a mental health disorder or something else is going on. That is common sense, brother. There's nothing wrong with that. And there is some common sense in there. However, why wouldn't you send an armed police officer to a domestic disturbance call, regardless of whether or not you think it's going to be peaceful or not? The bottom line is things can escalate pretty quickly. Tempers can get out of control, things can happen, people could resist arrest. You're always going to need backup and that backup is in the form you name of a handgun. Thing for me. Now that doesn't for me. mean that you whip out your gun name immediately something and you wanna shoot first, of course okay. not. Name of something course for me. Not. Name one city that has been able to arrest themselves out of a criminal or crime problem. I think there's been several cities. Just name one. Okay. Um, I'll give you. I'll give you. Uh, for instance, um, Arizona. Okay. <laughs> Ar- uh, Arizona. I, I'm talking. I'm talking <laughs> Gilbert, Arizona. I'm okay. talking Gilbert. Okay. Um, Gilbert there's so Arizona. many. Okay. Gosh, Chandler, Arizona. They just arrested um, themselves in, out of socioeconomic Cheyenne, dysfunction. For instance. Uh, yeah. What um, are the stats? 
Colorado. What are I don't the stats, have the brother? stats right here, right on But, hand. If, but if you I'm really believe is, this happens, you should know at least one you city have where it's happened. Guns, you mm -hmm. have law and order. Where what? you don't have guns, you don't have law and order. It's okay, pretty okay, let me get this right. to figure let me get that this right. out. Okay. You're saying, you're saying. If I'm cops have guns, or you have a lot of people with guns, s whole city okay. in America wait, that wait, is run on. by Democrats minute, that is infested with crime. <laughs> so you're calling cities infested with drugs, unwed and you're not racist. And you're not racist, they have but you, but you're using s whole cities mm -hmm. to describe what urban cities? Many many cities that have high crime. They are s whole cities, huh? They are s whole cities to you. There are many of them out there that yeah. have. Crime issues, absolutely. And they're asshole cities, And they right? all have one common denominator, Professor. They're mm -hmm. run by Democrats. Okay. So let me That's clarify something for you. That's the reality of this you. situation. Let me clarify something for you. When Republicans run cities, mm -hmm. there's lower crime. There's okay, more opportunity. There's you more are freedom, one of the most tax. You are one of the most extreme individuals as it I'm relates extreme. to your rhetoric, and that's fine. You're an extreme guy. I'm an. But let's be very clear about what's happening in cities, jurisdictions. I just see them. Okay. okay, are you able to listen to my rebuttal or no? Can you do that? You can stand stand yourself to do that. Hey, go ahead. I Give appreciate me. that. Thank right, you go. so much. So, yeah. in the cities that you're referring to, mm. I want you to be reminded that urban cities typically have different socioeconomic challenges than rural cities. But let me be very clear about states that have the highest crime. Eight out of the nine states that have the highest crime are, in fact, run by Republicans. Eight out of the nine states that are the poorest are run by Republicans. Eight out of the nine states that do the lowest on the educational chart for K through 12 education are all run by Republicans. My point to you is this, brother. You keep going back to a partisan angle, and I can play that game with partisan you all day. But referring to American cities as s -hole cities, is something that shows is something did, that correct. shows your racism. No, he referred to black nations as as whole nations. That's what he did. Well, that's I don't racist. think that that's appropriate because well, I'm not that's saying that's racist. That all well, well damn it, being appropriate is racist. Are, correct? Are terrible. They're it not. is racist, right? Huh? No, I don't think the president is a racist. But how can is you say the president not is a racist when he was the first president to on, uh, pass on, the uh, the First Step Act? How I'm is that glad racist? you brought that up too. All right, let's talk about the first step back since you want to go there. 3.9% so, unemployment yeah. rate. Great. For black let's talk Americans. about the first step back. Let's go back. Come on, man. Let's walk this back. Let me have a response to that, brother. Go ahead. Uh, the first step act, which affected 0.02% of the black population, by the way, not even 1%. Uh, the first step act was a continuation of the Obama Act, which which was made retroactive. President pass. Obama, President Obama should have done that, and he did not. I have oh. criticized him for that since day one. But let's be gotcha. very clear about what the Trump administration did. They defunded, they defunded the Pell Grant, where individuals in prison who could have access to college funding did not. The greatest way to stop recidivism is to make sure you have an educated man or woman when they get out of prison. They discontinued that program. It depends here's, on what that what education they is. If they're here's gonna what get, else they if did. they're gonna go to their colleges and get you're indoctrinated not by left wing Marxist professors, show. probably they not a good education. They also decided to defund halfway houses that helps an individual translate and transfer back into society. Here's what else the Justice Department did. They sent out a memo saying that we will prosecute to the fullest extent of the law anyone who was arrested for a nonviolent drug offense. So while on one hand he has this policy that says, okay, we're going to impact less than 1% of the black population, while at the same time having other policies that impact 10 to 15% of the population. Population, but telling you that's reform. That's not reform, damn it. That's moving backwards. And a person like you who reads enough should have seen between the lines on something like that. I have seen what I have seen. I've seen the lowest unemployment rate for black Americans in history. I've okay. seen the lowest Hispanic unemployment rate. I've seen more women working, less people on welfare. And again, damn it, my phone is again, again. Those are misnomer numbers. Uh, a U3 rating system compared to a U6, but my producers are telling me I'm out of time. I would love to have you give, back. Give me one second, one second, engage. one second. No, no, you, he can go, you can go now. Go ahead and do your other We gotta interview. do this again, I, I Professor. I, I hope You're so. You're a good man. Well, getting yeah, into I the can't cage say the same with me. About you, God bless you. I wish I could. God bless you, man.